Hi guys, welcome back. This is gonna be my brand new YouTube series called How To In 10. The premise being that I wanted to start a series where I actually teach you something, talk to you about a topic, or give you some advice, all within 10 minutes. I feel especially at the moment, while a lot of us are at home, staying home and staying safe, we seem to be even more time poor than ever strangely, especially when it comes to consuming content. There's more YouTube videos than ever. I think in the past two weeks, more people have downloaded TikTok than they have in every other week. Content has just gone a little bit crazy. So if you guys are anything like me, you might be watching content right now to try and take something away from it, learn something, find some advice, find some new ideas, anything at all. So that's why I thought I would start this series. And today I thought what better topic to talk about than how to make a TikTok video. I'm gonna go through some tips, some ideas to get you started, and hopefully demystify some of those little tips and tricks that people are using to make quite cool video styles. So, Let's do this, how to in 10. I know it probably goes without saying, but download the TikTok app from the App Store. It will look like this little music note right there. Open up your TikTok app. Um, okay, so now make yourself a profile so that you can start obviously following people and you can start making your own videos. Make sure that you get yourself a username that isn't user 005435. 13, 25. Just because, let's be honest, when people are trying to find you and follow you, they're most likely not going to follow someone with that kind of username. So when you're on the app, this is my profile. Now, if we go to home, you'll see at the very top we've got these two tabs, either following or for you. The following tab is filled with people that I follow. So right here we've got my Suze, Hello October, being absolutely sexy and beaut. Next one we've got Leonie showing us in her snack drawer and I'm really, really jealous, etc. So that's everyone that's in your following tab. Then if you go to the For You tab, that is filled with people that you do not follow already. The cool thing about TikTok is you can find people so easily because the algorithm is serving you content that you like. So you'll find the more people you start following and the more content you start to press like on, the algorithm will most definitely start to understand the kind of things you like. I know a lot of people when they first start TikTok when they're over the age 25 plus, like me, at first I would serve loads of videos of kids in school uniforms at their schools um, doing different dances. And it's, yeah, great, perfect, but it's not really my kind of content. I want to see fashion content, I want to see people doing cool dances who are my age and like, you know, failing a little bit. People like singing, anything that you like. I mean, there's loads of people on here that do like parkour or um, different types of dance. Some people have incredible voices. The more you start interacting with this platform and pressing like or follow on different people, the algorithm will start showing you stuff you're actually gonna like. So at this point, my TikTok is filled with awesome videos. Each one, I'm like, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Because the algorithm's worked it out. It's very, very smart. So on a given day, you can just decide to go through your entire following feed. I've got Lucy and Lydia now that have come up, Chriselle, anyone that I've followed in here is coming up, which is cool because then I can see exactly who I like. And then if I'm like, you know what, let's mix up a little bit, I can go to the For You tab and just find some cool new things. Wow. Hell yes. That's insane, I can't do that. So let's move on to making your first TikTok. Or maybe you've done a few and you just want to get a few more tips. Right, so usually you would go to this button right the middle, right here, this little plus. That is where you can start creating, hello, that is where you can start creating videos. So I could, if I want to just do like a talking video, I could, wow, I am shining, shining, shining. This whole makeup look, by the way, will be on my IGTV on Instagram if you are wondering about this. I flick. In the same way that you would create an Insta story, you could just press down the middle red button. I could press on this middle red button and start being like, hi guys, this is my first TikTok. I am Victoria from In The Fro, and yes, my blazer is Illuminous Pink. So I have now held down the red button, and as you can see, this little blue bar at the very, very top shows me how much I've got there. If I press the little tick, the little red tick right here, that will show me my video. Okay, cool. Okay, right, that's enough, that's enough. This is just very much the basics right now of making your first one if you don't want to use any sounds. TikTok is very much based around sounds, bear that in mind, but I'm just letting you, I'm just showing you the basics if you want to do like a talking video. So right down here on the left you've got sounds, that's where you can add your music, we'll go into that in a sec. 
Then you've got effects. Effects you could use like different transitions. It might be that you want the camera to shake. This kind of thing, I would just say have a little play around with it. Pretty much all it would be is say if halfway through a video you like jump and you want your camera to go woo as soon as you jump down so that the camera kind of interacts with what you're doing. All you have to do is drag your little cursor to the part of your video that you want it to jump. It's really quite intuitive this app. So you just drag it along and you feel like right I want that there. I'll find something that works. So it could be in the transition section. That is a zoom in moment and it zooms in does this like Roo! You know, so I would just play around with that. The main tip there is just use your finger to slide this cursor exactly where you want it on this timeline and then choose the transition that you want. But like I said, play around with the different transitions, find the ones that you like and the ones that kind of work for the, the theme or the style you're going for. So that's effects. Then you've got text. Now, one tip I'd give you with text is that, say if you're doing that video that a lot of people do where they show their life from like start to finish, or they're showing how they met their husband from start to finish, you might want to put a bit of text that says, how I met my husband 10 years ago, or something like that. It will be a piece of text that immediately will grab the viewer. So text can sometimes be that thing that hooks people in and explains exactly what you're gonna be talking about. So that does help. So text, again, is very simple to how you would add it on Insta Stories. This is my first TikTok. And in the same way that you can on Insta Stories, you can just put a backdrop to this. I would probably recommend that unless you've got a really simple backdrop that you can really see the text on. Make sure that anyone can read it. You can change your colours, you can change the font, etc. You can change the text alignment, things like that. So you can just play around with it. Then you press done and you've got it on screen. Again, as always, you can zoom it in and out, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can move it around the screen, you can put it anywhere. Next tip, don't put it down here because when you post this video you're going to have a caption here because every time you scroll through people's videos it'll have their name, it has their caption, it has a little bit of extra like like this video, share this video. So I would say anything that's kind of from here down don't put your text there. I would say whack it around here, something like that. Or maybe you want to put it at top, up here. So I would say anywhere from kind of like this area to about here keep that as like your place to put things. Now the next thing with text is, yeah, but what if I want it on for two seconds? Or maybe I just want it at the beginning of the video or maybe I want it at the end of the video, but I don't want it the entire time. So when you've got it in the exact place that you want it, click the text and you can either edit, so you can edit the text again or you can set the duration. Now if you press set duration, it will come up again with this timeline bar. It just takes a little bit of precision with your pinky finger, that's what I found. So all you have to do is say I want this on the screen at the very beginning, I'll just bring the very back of the cursor forwards. Now usually it has to be one second or more, you can't have it on for a tiny split second. So one second, you'll need it on for. I've pulled the cursor fully here to the end to make it one second at the very beginning of the video. If you want to put it instead at the end, pull the back cursor to the end and pull the front cursor to meet it and again it will click to one second so you can't get any less than that. So there you've got it there. And the same if you want it, say right in the middle, pull the cursor to where you want it and pull the back of the cursor to where you want it and it will just leave it there. It gets a little bit more complicated if for example you have a video like one I'll put on the screen now where I had text that came up and another piece of text that came up and another piece of text. Again it just takes real patience and precision and it's just about placing one. So for example, I might want to place this one here. I press a little tick and this is going to come up now where I've placed it. Now I might want to say pink jacket, for example, and I'm going to put a little box around it. Now that one I might want to put over here and I might want this one to come on at the very end. So I'm going to move it to there. So then when I play it, I'm blah, 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 blah. Then my first text comes up and then my second text comes up at the end, just like that. Okay, next thing I want to show you is up here, top right, is filters. This is where you can add, again, similar to Insta Stories. I'm sorry to keep comparing to Insta Stories. The only reason I do that is because I know a lot of you will know how to use that, and I'm just using that that set of skills to help you learn these ones. It definitely helped me. So filters is very, very similar, except you've got like about 100 here that you can go through. Um, again, I don't use many filters, but they can work for certain things. For instance, that video where you go into the light, I'll put mine here, where you go into the light 
and the light hits you. There's like G6, for instance, people seem to love G6. Let me show you that. It just makes you super tanned and really enhances that glow. So you can play around with that if you wanna add those on too. Now the next thing to talk about is the adjust clips section. Now the only thing with adjusting the clips Make sure that you do it before you add your text because quite often it will completely remove all the text and all of the editing you've already done. So the best thing to do is always adjust your clips and make everything perfect before you then add your additions like your text and your stickers. So I'm gonna go back. So here I have my full video. I might find that actually I didn't like the bit at the end where I said my jacket is luminous pink. I can pull this little cursor along to crop it. It's just like a cropping tool. Hi guys, this is my first TikTok, I'm Victoria from In The Fro That'll do, You'll, you get the gist. I might just wanna crop something. Now, let me show you how to adjust if we add some more clips to this. So, say if I've just done this one and now I wanna add a second clip to the same TikTok. You go back, then it takes you back to the shooting screen. Let's say, I hope you like my floral display and my backdrop. Oh, and my nail sign. So I'm gonna press the little tick So it's playing the first section. Yes, my blazer is illuminous pink. I hope you like my floral display and my backdrop. Oh, and my nail sign. Okay, so we've got this much longer oh, yeah, clip now. So if I go to adjust clips, I might find that actually, I love the new second clip that I've done, but I didn't like the pause where I went, I hope you like this. I want to get rid of that pause. So all you have to do is you'll see again, the timeline is right here and you'll see your clips. Say if you've done five different separate clips, you'll have five here. You can click the one you want. So now I just have my secondary clip that I filmed. I'm gonna pull this little cursor to the point where I start talking. I hope you like my floral. And I'm gonna press tick. Like That's now clipped it inside of this timeline. So from the very beginning, ooh. So now there's no pause. So now there's no pause, those clips have been adjusted and made nice and tight together. Now I wanna show you how to use sounds because I find that is one of the most difficult things when it comes to this app. What you wanna do is as you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, you will most definitely come across a sound that you wanna use. So whether that's someone talking, like a quote that you love. Okay, I'm gonna show you one of mine. I just filmed this one. Funny how people change, isn't it? I mean, I don't know, do people really change? So as I was scrolling, I came across someone who used that sound, and then all you have to do to find that sound is, say if you're watching my clip, and you're like, I wanna do that video. All you have to do is click the name of the song, so press the name of that song, and it'll bring it up in a full tab, and this will show everybody else who has used that sound to make their own video, and there are lots, and it'll show you the original person that put it up. Then just down here, it says use this sound. Click that and it'll open up ready to start making a TikTok with that sound. In the same way that I showed you earlier, all you have to do is just start, obviously you need to learn the words to the sound <laughs> and then you can start recording your clips. So as I've shown you earlier, I'll do the first clip, holding down the red button and then I let go. I mean, I don't know, do people really change? It's funny how people change, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I don't know, do people really change? It's funny See, so I'm already sort of creating the TikTok if I knew the words better. One thing to note as well, say if you're halfway through making a TikTok and then you're like, oh, tea's ready, I need to go. Go next and just press drafts and it will draft it. It will save it away. And then later on when you want to find it, just go to your profile and up here in the top left, you have your draft. You'll go into your drafts, you'll click it and then you'll press back to get into it again. And there it says, continue shooting. Click that, and you can pick up from where you left off. Okay, I'm very, very aware at this point that this is meant to be how to in 10, and I feel like I've shown you the very rough basics. If you'd like me to do a follow-up video on more of the transitions and the cool effects you can add in, let me know. I've definitely done over 10 minutes here, so, and I wanna keep these to 10. So let me know if you wanna see a little bit more, but hopefully that will at least get you to hit the ground running with this app. 
so I hope you enjoyed it guys. Let me know if you enjoyed how to in 10 and what other little topics that you'd like me to discuss or advise you on or give you ideas on or you know help you learn a little bit. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys think and what you guys say so let me know. And for anyone that is brand new and learn something on here first of all follow me on TikTok I'm in the fro <laughs> and make sure you subscribe and come back for more. I've really enjoyed putting this together so I can't wait to get going on the next one. I will see you then guys.